Hi. Uh, my name is Mary Gallagher, and I am in a long-term relationship with Citibank Visa. <laughs> they are very committed to me. They call me all the time, because they just like me to know that they're there. Like Gary said, I am from Wisconsin, and uh, I grew up there, and both of my parents are former United States Marines. Thank you. Now, when I tell that to people, they think that I probably had a really strict upbringing, but I didn't. I stood guard duty all night, just like any of you did. <laughs> they actually started dating in the military. Um, the story goes, she gave him a spit shine, he bounced a quarter off her ass. I feel, I feel kind of creepy knowing those details. And so when their one and only daughter said she was moving to Los Angeles, you know, to try to be a performer, they got very upset because my parents are, they, they have no connection to the entertainment business. They don't even go to the movies. They would much rather stay home and play Master and Commander. But it doesn't bother me so much anymore because I just got married. I'll tell my husband he got applause. He hopes for that in bed. Ladies, I am so happy because I married an Italian. Yeah, and um, I always had this dream that I'd grow up and meet an Italian guy and get married. He is from Newark. <laughs> now, I don't know if Newark is in the north of Italy or the south of Italy, but one day he promises to take me. I asked him, I said, are there a lot of cathedrals in Newark? He said, no, but there's plenty of ruins. He said, life is easier there, you guys, because people don't work. They just sit around all day drinking wine, coolers. So I've been learning a lot about the Italian culture from my husband. Like, for instance, did you guys know that when an Italian turns like 21, they all have this ceremony? It's kind of like a bar mitzvah, but it's called a bankruptcy. My husband's name is David Damiani, and it's kind of a hard name to spell, so he spells it out for people on the phone, you know, like if he's talking to one of our investors, which I found out just means credit card companies. He'll say, okay, it's D as in David, which is his first name, A, M as in Mary, which is my name, I, A, N as in Nancy, I. Who the hell is Nancy? <laughs> and why is she in our name? <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised that we got married because right before we got married, we broke up for like a month because, get this ladies, my husband said he needed some time to think. I was like, what do you need to think about? And why do you need to do it in Vegas? at cheetahs. So I was completely crushed. I didn't know what to do. I was crying, you know? So I decided to pray about it, but I don't really pray a lot. So I was like, hey God, long time listener, first time caller. <laughs> and it all worked out. Um, you know, we got back together and everything and but while we were broken up, I tore up all the photos that I had of me and my husband together. And then we got back together and now he wants to take photos of us all the time, which is great. But every time we have our photo taken, I just leave a little bit of space between me and him in the photo. <laughs> just in case I look really good in that one. <laughs> so 
So now that we're married, um, we like to do the role playing in bed, but like I'm a performer and he's not, he can basically only play one character and that's the pizza delivery guy. <laughs> He'll be like, hey, who wants a pizza? Which I think is really sexy, but when he says it, it just makes him realize that he wants a pizza. <laughs> so then we order one and the guy comes with the pizza and I'm there dressed like a whore. And the guy's like, okay, it'll be 14.72. And conveniently, my husband has no money on him. And I always say, honey, if you can't pay for the pizza, how are you gonna pay for the whore? <laughs> Next time you're in the supermarket, check out how they sell the honey. Because you can buy honey in only two different ways. You can buy it in the cute, plastic, squeezable, bear-shaped bottle, or you can buy the non-bear bottle. What kind of person doesn't buy the bear? I don't know about you, but I like my honey to come out of a bear. Just like I like my maple syrup to come out of a beautiful African-American woman. And apparently, so does Mr. Robert De Niro. Thanks a lot, everybody. <laughs>